Good morning. It is about seven o'clock. I'm just getting ready to leave for work. Today I'm gonna to meet up with Eric and Francisco and we're gonna go into Comet Welding, pick up some steel and then gonna to go to the winter shop and I'm gonna start building a workbench. So the other day we were at the winter shop and I was working on the joiner. I'm making a new design for next year, my walking joiner. And I found myself on the floor beating the concrete off of the joiner. And I was like, man, I really need a heavy duty workbench, something that I can just throw whatever on, hammer on, weld on, it doesn't matter, something rugged. And uh, I decided to go ahead and build a workbench. I can't find anything online for any kind of decent price. So I was like, man, I'll just weld one up. So that's the plan for today. I'm not going to finish it today. I don't have time. I have other stuff going this afternoon, but I at least want to get a start on it. Uh, I do have one shout out this morning. And uh, I'm going to take a little extra time on this shout out because uh, this one's pretty special. This comes from Mr. Larson and his wife from Royal Oak, Michigan. And he sent me a handwritten letter and... Um, and some patches and I just want to you know take a couple excerpts out of the letter uh, because this is really really cool so uh, it, it says in the letter I just turned 71 on December 5th and I have no one to give the enclosed patches to I would be honored if you will accept them I've served in Vietnam aboard the attack the attack carrier the USS Midway CVA-41 from 1970 until 1973, we were serving in the Gulf of Tonkin in North Vietnam. And then it goes on to say later in the letter, I was under fire several times rescuing downed pilots and lowering rescue cages to pull them out of harm's way. As I was repelling down the life-saving cable to rescue them from certain death. Um, the, and then he sent me a few patches and he goes on and he says, I actually wore the USS Midway shoulder patch while under fire. The engineer patch was a patch I wore on my blue jacket from boot camp in 1970. 1970. And he doesn't talk about this one, but that one says Tonkin Golf Yacht Club. So I know this is something that's very special to you. So we are going to put this in a frame. And I promise I'll take good care of them. Thank you so much. That's uh, that's very, very cool. All right, well, I'm gonna take this trash out. And then one other thing that's uh, happening is I started going to the gym every morning. So I'm not going to the coffee shop first. I'm going to the gym and then the coffee shop. Uh, I'm not gonna video in the gym. Uh, when there's other people in the gym, I just think it's like, I feel it's very inappropriate to video anything in a gym when there's other people working out in the background. I just feel like working out is kind of a private thing and you don't really want to show up on the internet unexpectedly and unexpectedly when you're working out. Uh, if there's ever a time where there's absolutely nobody else in the gym and sometimes that happens here, uh, I'll video. I'm also trying to get Eric and Francisco to come along with me to stay motivated. All right, uh, I guess that's it for now. Let's get out of here. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Okay, I am here at the gym. It's Anytime Fitness, so it's a super tiny gym, but it's got enough to work up a sweat. Okay, I am done at the gym at Quick Trip. I just did cardio today. My whole entire body sore from lifting weights earlier this week, so there's no way I can lift any kind of weights for a few days. I am in a lot of pain. Everything, my legs, my back, my shoulders, my arms, everything. Back on eggs again. Yummy. Morning, Mizzy. All right, I'm gonna go meet up with Eric and Francisco at the yard. I'm gonna have them hook the trailer to the Chevy and I'm gonna run home and change in the meanwhile. And then I'm gonna meet them over at Comet Welding. I'm gonna use half inch plate on the workbench. I made a workbench years ago with quarter inch plate and that was fine. Um, but I want something that's, I want something that's super strong that you can beat up, throw heavy stuff on. Doesn't matter what you do to it. You're not gonna damage it. So I'm gonna go with the half inch plate. Pull into the yard here, it's uh, 827 doing later starts just because we can and I'm trying to work out every morning what's up, what's up? how's the gym I'm pretty much huge already yeah yeah 
Yeah, I was squatting like, I was squatting 675, benching 525. Stay. You know, just getting some warm up. Some light in. stuff? Yeah, some light stuff. I don't want to go heavy too early. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll hook up that trailer mm -hmm. and then go over to Comet Welding by the old shop there, that welding shop. Where's that at? Right by the old yard. Oh, to the right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make sure we got a couple yellow straps too. Okay. We need two yellow straps. What is that? What's that? <laughs> Did you just rob the bank? Tell me the truth. Yeah. Speed chase, come on. <laughs> uh, Francisco over there? Yeah, meet Francisco over there and then you're going over to Comet Welding. I'm gonna go home and change and then I'll meet you over there. Okay, just pulling up to Comet and the guys are already here. They don't like me videoing in their shop. So we're gonna get loaded up here and then I'll be right back with you guys. I gotta think through what I wanna use for the table legs and the bracing underneath and all that. But we're gonna grab a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna make this thing really heavy duty. This is gonna be a forever table, a forever table. We are all loaded up on the trailer. I had Francisco pull over here into the old yard comments just right down the street but we got to tie down the steel better there was guys waiting and we were we were in their way so it, we tied it down a little bit and got out of there but we got to fix it up a little bit this stuff here is this is gonna go this is gonna slide right out what's this for Ryan? uh no i'm building a table for my kitchen no way Air, you know how much food we eat <laughs> we need heavy duty that's really that's really big <laughs> Oh, bro, I'm building a table. No way. Yes. How come you don't believe so me? You can work on it? Yeah. So you like we can work like on stuff and put it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Fucking slap you. No, 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 no. Right on the table? Yeah, yeah. he's, he's yeah. aggressive. On a steel he, table? He's been wow. aggressive. He's been lately aggressive. I see it. <laughs> Take it easy driving over there. What's up? I'll I'll drive behind you. You want me to take the freeway or the street? Just take the streets. Okay. All right, fine. To the winter shop here and it is muddy i don't know if macgyver's here today or not guess we'll find out okay we were working on the form truck just cleaning we're going to reorganize everything i'm going to get some different boxes and i'm going to label some stuff and we just got to get more organized in 2024 Today, we're gonna start this table and then uh, I'm not gonna finish, I just don't have the time. I don't have much time to work on this today. So we'll get started and then I'll finish up the video on Saturday when I have more time. So we'll weld up the frame on top of the plate, flip it over and then pick the plate up, put it on top and weld from underneath. That's the plan. I just wanna get it up and standing today. Once it's standing, then I can work on it by myself. Uh, Saturday and finish everything up should be really easy I hear somebody talking very loud outside so I already know who that is oh. Oh. oh I don't even know when the last time I made a video in the shop but we finished i should say macgyver finished putting this up so it's all hooked up he's got it exhausted out the wall gas is hooked up thermostats over there it works good it's way better than that one it's a lot quieter to begin with which is nice Put them long ways, like straight that way. Yeah. Well, 
What's that for? What do you want to grind? I don't have a nine inch grinder. We can use a seven inch. You don't have a big grinder? I don't have one of those either. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All I have is a four and a half inch grinders. You want to use one of my big ones and try these out? I want to sell you some of these. No, not today. that weighs but you won't want it to fall on your foot put it that way so what I'm gonna do with this one I made a mistake the last table I built like this I put the frame right to the edge um, you know I put the top frame right to the edge of the plate and that was a mistake because a lot of times you'll want to use like a C-clamp and clamp stuff to the edge of the table. So this time I'm going to leave an overhang, I don't know, maybe three inches or so all the way around. Maybe, yeah, three or four inches. So this is not going to be a welding table. I'm going to make that really clear right now. This is just going to be a workbench. I do want to buy a welding table at some point, a fixture table. I'll let you try it. The, the bigger one is about the same size, it's a German one. This will wear you out though, after a while. Not a man. Oh man. It won't do nothing to a man. That just would have been a lot easier if it was flat to begin with. Yeah, but it's not difficult to make it flat. Yeah, I know. So. I'll fix it. Don't you worry. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it like right here right here going this way okay because that way we could still bring a vehicle there you can still bring a vehicle there and then there'll be this table and then eventually because they're really expensive i want to get a welding table and the welding table will go here i'm not getting a welding table now they're really expensive there's one i like it's from fireball tool super nice but it's very expensive expensive really expensive You trying to order pizza already, Eric? They want to go out to I'm hungry right now. They, they want to do this pickup. They can't. I don't know if this can cut to two by three. I hope so. We're going to find out in a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brand new. Brand new. This is like my 15th call already this morning. Okay. Uh, I have some stuff in the way right now, and we're like 15 minutes from there. Yeah, are, you're there already? Eric, come quick. You gotta take my truck and go back to the old yard. A the guy's there with salt. You gotta move the skid loader and the, truck. and the truck. And when you back him up and he starts dumping, you can't have him go all the way up. He'll rip the whole canopy yeah. down. He can go pretty high, but you gotta watch him, tell him to stop. And then he can pull forward a little bit, stop, and make sure you don't rip the yeah. whole thing down. I'll yeah. be really mad. And it will be time for the pow if that happens. Okay. Now you finally get to see something being welded and made. I know, right? Finally. You've been waiting this, waiting for this moment your whole life. <coughs> I'm making your dreams come true. I know. Turn it. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. That's crazy. You ever think thick steel like that could get cut so fast and simple? That is crazy. Uh huh. That's a nice clean cut too. Mm -hmm. Hold this right on the right on that red line. One twelve and three eighths to the outside. And then that's our angle. This table is going to be really heavy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just cut the second piece and it is right on. So far, so good. 
it's one nice thing about metal is uh you know your 45s you're not cutting custom molding like wood molding so if it's not absolutely perfect it's okay because you just fill it with weld or whatever it's not a big deal which is good i don't like precise real precise stuff like cabinetry having to do moldings like crown molding i don't think i could do that i don't have patience for it you gotta have a lot of patience and you gotta have a lot of skill too and i don't have either all right i'm gonna cut the last end one here and then i'm gonna tack the center one because this thing's got a big bow to it the plate so i'm gonna tack this one and get the frame flat slide it off of the plate onto the floor where it's definitely going to be flatter than that see if it's good enough to weld i can weld all that ready ready oh i was born ready okay born ready so when I'm done, put your hand on it just to feel how hot it is. Yeah, it gets, I will. It gets really nice and warm. Okay, right. If you got cold hands, it'll, <laughs> it'll fix that right away. <laughs> We're just going to slide it over onto the concrete. That was a pain. I had to shim this side up because, like I said, that plate is so curved in the middle so i got the center center brace flat now so we're going to take it put it over on the concrete get it flat all the way flat and then we'll weld the ends all right now it's flat on the ground at least grab the ends now we'll put the ends in and i'll i'll tack those on so when we put the top on i'll clamp it down to the frame and i'll get that bow out of there before i weld the top on I don't have that table or that saw set to a 45 exactly. There's a little bit of a gap there, but nothing, nothing I can't handle. Hey, What's up, man? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What food? You got a taco there? I was wondering what's taking so long. You're gonna eat tacos, right? Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's gonna eat uh, lengua. Lengua? Tom. Taco. Oh, lengua. <laughs> No, look at this one though. Yeah, well that one that's a gap too. That's that a big gap, Ryan. So that's a nice. That one. looks good. What do you think, Eric? That looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, there the air is. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That looks nice. Trying to fill them gaps. Yep. You got to kind of stitch it. So you go around, you let it cool for just a second, and then you hit it again, let it cool. That's why I'm stopping and starting. When you get a big gap, that's how you do it. Okay. You hear that, guys? Yep. Tip. tip of the day. Tip of the day. Pro tip of the day from the amateur welder. <laughs> <laughs> 63 years I've been welding. 63 years, man. Come on. 63 years. 63 years. Yes. Oh, look at that. All right, we're gonna eat for a minute here. So that's the top frame. I still got a lot of welds to finish, but it'll hold for now. Hey, maybe this table should just be the lunch table. Yeah. It's I 10 foot by five foot. You can use that. For real. Grandma's here. Taco Thursday. It's These here are mine? Oh, it does? Taco okay. Thursday. Taco, yeah, it is Thursday. Yeah. Did you use this yet? Hmm? Did you yeah. use this? Yeah, I use it, yeah. Did you bite on it? Yeah. Ugh. No, it's almost noon, but I got to be somewhere at two. That's the problem. So you just got to flip it up and I'm going to weld, you know, the, the flat surfaces and then we'll flip it all the way over, we'll flip it and then we'll just keep flipping it, basically. You guys tired from holding that? It's pretty heavy. Okay, I need to decide on a height now because it is time to put the legs on. How does it cook? Oh, it cuts like a dream. Yeah? Yeah. Butter? Yep, like butter. Zoom. 
41. Let's see what this one is. 40. <laughs> 162 is just enough. Just enough if I make it 40 inches. I'm gonna set this up. I don't know if it's gonna cut four inch. I have no idea. I kind of doubt it, but it might. I don't know. It's gonna be close. Come on, man. I think it's gonna cut like nothing. I think it's gonna bottom out there. Oh yeah, right there, yeah. Did it make it or no? Yeah, it did. Is it loose? Yeah. That is pretty. So we gotta get it, we gotta get this square, square. One person's gotta go over there, hold it, make sure it's perfect this way. Okay. You shake You shake you, right? Yeah, you shake? No, you. No, do you shake? Or no. Hold it. I'm gonna shake. You, okay, grab it. I'll grab this because I shake a lot. I get nervous. Diabetes. Yeah, I shake. Okay. Yeah. You need Coca Cola, bro. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got it right here. It's looking really good, actually. It's looking really good. Two more legs. Are you guys talking bad about me? Okay, I'm just checking. Come on. Man. I don't know. I'm talking about Pokemon or something. Pokemon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. About subs and cars and oh. turbos and turbos. Turbos? You're still dreaming about turbos there? Oh, yeah. It's been like three years and you're still dreaming about turbos. Why don't you just buy one and put it in? <laughs> just tack the last one. So I'm going to fully weld these and then we'll, uh, we'll flip it. Look at that. Those aren't going anywhere. They're all straight and square. So we're gonna flip the table over now. The plate's up on the forks. We're just gonna flip it over and put the plate on top. Oh my, hold on, hold on. Just keep going, it's going good. Watch your toes. Push off that side. Yeah, that's heavy. Hold up, hold up. Set it down, Eric. All the way down. Set it down. Thank you. Push. Oh, I felt the taco move from the do this side now. We gotta get it all squared up. Hold it. Don't wait. That's too much. That's six inches on this side oh, now. Here's like two. Hang on. It's really close. That side's really close. It's going. It's going. It's going. <laughs> All right, it is going. I think the clamp's actually gonna work. Tell me when it's tighty tighty right here. Uh -huh. Keep going. 
Got it. That's pretty cool. This side's flat. Let me weld it. Yeah, there you go. Not bad. All right, what's the plan? We need stools. What's the plan today, guys? Hey, I wonder if I can get custom victory stools made with the top that says victory. Mm -hmm. I bet I could. Oh, Somebody probably face. makes those. Every morning, oh, meeting. Oh, that, the face has a victory. Yeah, that'd be cool. Never gonna move. Yeah. What happened, Ryan? Look at that. I melted the clamp to the steel. Oh, oh melted. Hotty hotty? Yeah, it's hotty. Hotty hotty? My mistake. My mistake. It's not a rookie mistake, guys. It just happens, all right? Yeah, exactly. Look at over here, Rick. Well, you're too excited. Too, too excited, happen. you know? Because I got it flat. <laughs> it's really to, bad, right? Let me do the end and then. Oh, oh yeah. It's really oh, bad. yeah. I see it now. Next time we'll make sure they give us a nice flat one. That would be nice. <laughs> See it? Tell yeah, me when yeah. it's closed. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You got a lot of go. Flat to go? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Keep going. Keep going, right, I'll tell you. That's it. No, 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 keep That's going. It. That's it. One more, one more. Right there, Ryan, you good now? You close it. You good? Come on, man. you gotta make sure it's closed. It. Yeah. That's it. Eric doing what? Good. You the operator? Yeah. All right, grab a skid loader, put all those weight on there. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah, give it the final test. So obviously when I build the bottom shelf, that's gonna strengthen the legs a lot, but they're already pretty strong. All right, lift the whole front of the skid steer up. Oh man, I think it's strong, yeah it's strong, this thing is strong and it's not even done, I got a lot more welding to do, I got to still weld the whole top and then I got to build a whole second level under there with the shelf underneath, Oh yeah. you know, so that way we'll have all our like uh, air nachos, and uh everything yeah, cheetos, cheetos everything water, i mean there's whatever. plenty of room daniel jr's grandson will have this table <laughs> right yes, sir. i like making stuff that's gonna last a little super long time it's grab that vice that vice is going right here too that's one of the reasons i had to build a table because i had an awesome vice that i just bought it's super light eric <laughs> super heavy right Right. It's gonna go over here somewhere. Hey, what wood? Something like this. Look, I even brought this with me. I think that'll work right there. We clamp anything in here. Anything. Fingers, hair, toes. Toes. All right, I really gotta go for real. All right, I'll be back on Saturday. I'm gonna finish welding this and then I'll build the second shelf. I don't know if I'll actually put wood on the second shelf or what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna build the frame on Saturday at least. You're not coming in tomorrow, right here? No, sir. Thank you. You want me to come in? You don't have to come in. <laughs> what do we do? I'm picking up all the equipment tomorrow. Which is super exciting. Come to the yard tomorrow at nine. Okay. I'm gonna work and do a long workout tomorrow morning. You know what I did hmm. this morning? You're sore. I get tired. Oh, I'm so sore. The stairmaster. <laughs> did you ever do a real stairmaster? No. I'm not talking about the little things no, like this. The one that, I'm talking about that actually yeah, the has one that the just steps. Keeps coming. And the steps yeah, keep coming. Oh, oh, I, oh. I, I, I can't do that. <laughs> so every other piece of equipment, whether it's a <laughs> treadmill or an elliptical or a bike or whatever. You know, you can always go slow on it and it's easy. You can do it all day if you mm -hmm. go slow. Yeah. On the steps, it's already going slow, but it's really hard. Oh yeah. It's really yeah. hard, even when you're not going Feel fast. like it's heavy. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Cause you're lifting your whole body weight and you got a lot of body weight just like me. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Yep, adios. Nine, right? Nine, yeah.
Good morning. It is winter time and it is still gorgeous here in Wisconsin. It's unbelievable. I thought today would be a good day for just me to go to the shop and finish up the forever table. So I'm going to grab some coffee, head over there, and I don't know if we'll finish it all the way because there's other stuff I need to do to it too, like, you know, just convenience type stuff. But I want to put that second shelf on and get it finished to the point where we can start working on it. I already took the trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How's everything looking? Pretty good. All right. Hi, how are you today? Good morning, Lisa. We're all set. Thank you. Great day. You too. Enjoy. Thanks. Yes. All right, I just pulled up to Home Depot. I want to grab a sheet of three quarter inch plywood and then see if they have a pre cut piece just a little bit more uh, because the table is four by 10, sheet of plywood is four by eight. So that and some self tappers. And I think that's all I need for today. They have aisles shut down. Good? No, I said wait. Safety first. And 32 bucks a piece. Sure, grab that in. Thank you. So they got a four by four piece and it's more expensive than a full sheet. Why would I do that? Morning. <laughs> All right, I gotta grab some self tappers so I can fasten this down. I'm gonna have to get bolts too to mount the vise. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or not. We'll see. I gotta leave early today as well. Today is. My son Daniel, the CEO, it's his birthday. And he wants to go out to a nice dinner, so that's what we're doing tonight. Okay, that lady, that lady, she put her foot in that food. That food was delicious, but I, I don't know about them chitlins. They she either she didn't cut them up correctly because they was long, they looked like that hog mog stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you. you too. Yep. She's on the phone, by the way. She wasn't talking to me. I thought she was. I just got to the winter shop. And the plan is I'm going to build a second shelf for this table. Uh, down pretty low. I'm going to put it down pretty low because I want to put some hooks and stuff. Uh, around this table to hold you know different items hammers and clamps and all that kind of stuff So if that stuff's hanging down, I don't want it to hang it down on top of the stuff That's on the shelf as much as possible anyway Yeah, it's right on 48 Easy This is gonna be pretty easy. I don't have to cut anything out of 45 because it's all gonna end on the post so nothing on the end is gonna be exposed. So basically I just cut a piece, weld it to here, cut the cross piece, weld that one to the one I just put on. You're not gonna see any of the ends, they'll all be covered. So this is gonna be really straightforward. Just weld four pieces all the way around at the same, up, same elevation and, and that's that. Jack will hold that side temporarily. This side I'll just weld quick. That looks good and I'll just go ahead and weld that up all the way around. Yes, I did a down weld. You're not supposed to down weld. It doesn't penetrate as, as good. But um, what I could see that you couldn't see, there was a gap and I would have struggled with that trying to weld up. So trust me, this is not going anywhere. Um, it really only needs a weld on the top and bottom and it wouldn't go anywhere. But obviously you need to fill it and make it look pretty. 
So now it at least looks pretty because <laughs> you will see that from out here. So don't do down welds if it's an important weld, but if you're just trying to fill or whatever, make it look decent because you already know it's super strong. It's absolutely fine. I do it all the time. I've been doing it for years and years and years. As long as it's not structural, you're not really depending on that weld. Okay, I'm gonna mark my heights on the other legs now and just start going all the way around just like that. <laughs> some nice pieces here of two by two square and uh, we'll use this for the bracing across the middle just got the cross brace tacked in I'm gonna finish welding this real quick throw the plywood in there I'm gonna mark the plywood dead center with that center brace that way we can put some self tappers down the edge good right there grab some self tappers just put a couple in for now to hold it we can always finish that up later now oh, it seems pretty flush just a little bit that way I'm just gonna throw one in each corner for now and then we'll finish up cutting the other side of the plywood. Then I'll, I'll put them maybe every foot or so. It'll be fine. It'll be a nice shelf to throw a whole bunch of junk. I just cut the last piece. We'll see how it fits or if it fits. We'll find out. Oh man not bad i'll take that for a workbench one thing i know i want to hear is hammers i want a sludge hammer a medium sized hammer like a little mall and then a claw hammer i always like to have my hammers hanging off a workbench and then maybe some pry bars maybe you know some other stuff we'll figure it out let me see what time it is it's uh it's 12 12 14 right now let me finish off these self tappers and then uh man it would be nice to get this mounted today and then i gotta go get it placed exactly where i want it drill some holes and bolt it down then it'll be a, a functional work table pretty exciting man now, a lot of people are like okay it's just a steel table but to me pretty awesome self tappers really do a good job this is some thick walled steel too and it's drilling right through so I think what I'm gonna do is position it mark it drill it drill some pilots at least and then uh, and then go get some bolts I don't have any big bolts here to run to the hardware store Okay, I think we're good. All right, this top is a half an inch, so no joke. All right, there's one, three to go. That's not helpful. You can see how I do with patience. Just put full body weight immediately. 
Got to ease into it. Okay, moment of truth. Do I have clearance under there? I hope so. Oh yeah, there it is right there. There's the hole, the pilot hole. So I'll just have enough room for a nut back there. Both sides. There's one there. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna drill these other two and then uh, we'll go get the right size drill bit and some bolts and we'll finish mounting this thing. All right, I drilled the pilot holes. Um, the good news is I only broke three bits. And uh, then I went with a three ace and I drilled through those. So now it's ready for uh, the, the full size, which I think is gonna be five ace. Almost done. And then we're gonna go celebrate the CEO's birthday. I ran over here to Flea Farm, to grab the stuff we need and get back there as soon as possible. Can't be late for the CEO's birthday party. Otherwise, pow! My goodness, look at the price on these hammers. $250 for a stiletto. That is expensive, man. Good, how are you? All right, good seeing you. Yep. Like the videos, bro. Thank you, thank you, appreciate All right. that. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, have a great day. All right, you do the same. Yep, bro. see ya. I'm back. If there's one thing that I hate, it's drilling large holes through thick steel. You know, it'd be really nice is like a magnetic mount drill. Just drill, just mount it to the top of the bench and go right through. That would be pretty sweet. But unfortunately, I don't have one of those. So, cordless drill it is. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. There's one. I have the third and the fourth almost through. Uh, drill's doing its job. I don't think it likes it. It's pretty hot. Because <laughs> I haven't given it any rest. Oh, I hate breaking through thick steel. It's always a pain. Likes to grab. Come on. Thing is smoking hot right now <sighs> probably not meant to do this it's probably not what it was designed to do but that's how I'm gonna use it oh got it I'm gonna grab a grinder and just take the burrs off the top and the bottom of these holes and then hopefully the holes line up I can get the bolts through All right, that should be good. <clears throat> the moment of truth. I'm using lock washers on the top and the bottom. I couldn't fit a full washer up here, uh, but the lock washers are smaller. Maybe I'll get lucky. Okay, that's two. Come on. All right. Last one, will it go? I gotta twist this thing a little bit. There we go. They all dropped in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, it's gonna be so nice to have a vice. Now will the nut spin on, does it have room? Oh yeah, plenty of room. Actually, this one's not looking good. I don't think the nuts, oh yeah, man, it just, just cleared. Beautiful. Been wanting to try this baby.
that's not going anywhere. Trust me. And that is rock solid. That thing is never going anywhere. That's beautiful. This is a really good vice too. This thing was not cheap. I bought this at the uh, Feral show in March of this year. And look at that. I want to use it, but I don't really have anything to do. Done with the table. I just need to uh, decide all I want to hang on it. I know I want to hang my hammers, but I don't know what else I should hang. Probably a grinder, maybe clamps. I don't know. What do you guys think I should hang as far as tools go? It's just nice to have all your stuff out in the open where you're working, you can just grab stuff. You don't have to go all the way to the toolbox and open drawers, it's just right there. Easy, easy off, easy back on. It turned out real good, I'm happy with it. That is the forever table. I'll have this table for the rest of my life and then whoever wants it after me will have it the rest of theirs and so on. So a half inch thick tabletop is plenty. Now when you're talking about welding tables, some of those tables get really thick. Some of those tables will go an inch plus tabletops, but this is not a welding table. I will use it for welding obviously before I get a welding table, but it's not really what this is for. This is just a workbench. Nice, big, huge work surface. Okay, that's it for today. We'll go say happy birthday to the CEO. What's your birthday? Yes. How old? Eight. All right. Gonna go to dinner tonight? Yes. All right, we're going to dinner. Hi, Grace. Hi. Are you hungry? Yeah, kind of. All right. Okay, we're all ready. We're leaving for dinner. Mom? Ryan's playing with his toys. This is not mine. No, this is my <laughs> toy. Daniel. Did you put that all together? Okay, we're here at the machine shed. Just me and Daniel. We have to take two vehicles because we all don't fit in my wife's car. You want to go on the tractor? So this is one of our favorite family restaurants. And it has a Cracker Barrel feel. So inside they have a little like country store, just like Cracker Barrel. It's never super busy. We're usually able to get in. What do you think? It's big. Big? Don't run very good though. Start it up. I can't. Oh, is it busted? Oh. All right, I think the rest of my family's pulling up. We'll go in and eat. What do you think I made of money? <laughs> Man, what do you got? Uh, ski loader? Horses? Ski loader and horses. Didn't we already get him a lot of gifts though? Yeah. Mm. You got me like four? Five. Five? <laughs> Still not enough? You want that guy? Yeah. Maybe when it's your birthday. Can you get me? I don't know, you gotta ask the pops. Mom, please. <laughs> you want those too? Yeah. Oh, come on. That's expensive though. For real. Yeah. It's fine. How's your dinner now? Good. Really good? Yes. Here, Daniel, you can record whatever you want. It's your birthday. So it's your privilege. Just don't record me. Well, you don't probably want to record the stuff outside. I have something to say. I have something to say. I have something to say. Anyway, Daniel is the best little brother in the world. That's what I have to say. Okay. Got it? On his birthday. Today's his birthday. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh. 
What was that? <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, Daniel. Don't you do it too. That was a belt. <laughs> Wait, we no, got a video. I you. Slowly. There you go. I was trying to get into the car. I can't see it, Daniel. <laughs> Why can't you get it? Whoever can sit in the Daniel, front. Oh. Ryan, you go in the trunk. I mean, car sickness. Go you get to strap on the top of the car. Ryan. No. Um, Why you don't want to sit in the trunk? Mom should not be going in the trunk. Well, mom can sit no, in the front. I'm sit mom right has to go in the trunk. Well, it's the only option. I'm gonna sit we can right squish. Here. Well, Autumn has toe crumbs and mom's allergic to toe crumbs. Ryan, sit in my Daniel, you got to strap to the hood. Do we got a ratchet strap? Mom wants us to squish. Well, I think you're doing your truck. Oh. We're just getting home. Hi, Annie. Come and say hi, Annie. Come and say hi. Where are you going? Annie, come and say hi. How did you like the lights? Good. So we ended up going to a hotel. Christmas is over, but there's a hotel that still had their Christmas light show. It's called the Ingleside Hotel. It's in Waukesha, Wisconsin. I-N-G-L-E-S-I-D-E, -E. and we've never been there before, but that was the best light show that I've ever seen. I put a little time lapse, but we are already more than halfway through it. We missed a lot of it. It was, it was awesome. It's the best one I've ever seen. So the rest of the family's coming, and then we're going to have some cake. What'd you all get for your birthday there? Whoa. 300 bullets. Nice. And these? A Bugatti? That's not kosher for you. Too. It's blue and black, if anybody and wants this? to know. And can you cool. grab that, Mom? This is a stunt car. Stunt okay, car. okay. And you got can you get that, Mom? Personalized sleeping bag. And he and got this for his bike, which I'm not excited about at all. Go ahead and hit the button one time. Oh, boy. <laughs> not good for me. Okay, Daniel. Hi, girls. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Now you cannot peek on me. Happy birthday.